If you take an Elgato Stream Deck and merge that with a gaming mouse, you get the Corsair Scimitar Elite Wireless SE, which has the features of both. The Corsair Scimitar has been a pretty popular mouse in the MMO gaming space, and it's been around for about five years now. First we had the wide version, then we got the wireless version, and Corsair just released a brand new update to that version back in May, which is the Corsair Scimitar Elite Wireless SE. Design-wise, the mouse looks pretty much exactly the same as it did a couple of years ago, except there's a lot of changes under the hood, which has made this into a much better, more functional mouse. Under the hood, the Scimitar Elite is now equipped with the updated Marksman S33K optical sensor, which offers up to 33,000 DPI and 750 IPS tracking, guaranteeing fast and accurate movements. The mouse connects via 2.4 GHz Slipstream Wireless, Bluetooth connectivity and can be used via USB-C in wired mode. Battery life is also impressive with up to 150 hours in 2.4 GHz Wireless mode and up to 500 hours via Bluetooth. All of this makes the Semitar Elite a versatile mouse that's pretty much ready for any setup. Performance-wise, this thing is spot on. It's super responsive, whether you're gaming, spamming your abilities, or even if you're just using this thing to work on your latest video, it keeps up with everything you need it to do without breaking a sweat. And the side buttons, all 12 of them, are perfect for creators who want every command at their fingertips, whether that's in-game hotkeys for hitting combos or heals, or using the new Stream Deck function, which I will get to, but a little later on. Being a wireless mouse, connectivity is obviously super important, and without that, this mouse would be pretty useless, really. Thankfully, though, the Scimitar Elite Wireless is rock solid, because personally, I didn't notice any lag or dropout when using this, no matter what I was doing. Although, to be honest, I was mostly using this via the 2.4 gigahertz connection at my setup. I did test out the Bluetooth connection once or twice, and it seemed to work fine. Things worked, but obviously the main connection of this is the 2.4 gigahertz, which is what most people are probably going to use it for. When it comes to comfort of this mouse, obviously it's going to be a little bit subjective because everyone's a little bit different. However, this mouse is an MMO style mouse and MMO mice aren't exactly for everyone, but I assume if you're watching this video, you're at least a little bit interested or a little bit intrigued by the Scimitar Elite Wireless. However, this mouse is kind of big. It weighs 114 grams and meaning it's kind of chunky. So if you've got larger hands or you prefer like a palm grip on your mouse, you you're gonna love how this mouse actually like fills your hand. Ergonomically, it's pretty solid. I enjoyed how this actually felt to use. It had a satisfying click for both main buttons and the adjustable side panel for the 12 buttons obviously on the side really helps to dial in the feel of this mouse and it really makes it easy to access all the buttons. The Scimitar Elite SE pretty much nails performance. It's smooth, it's fast, it's reliable, but let's be honest, the whole reason you probably came to this video is to check out its party trick, which is using the side buttons as an Elgato Stream Deck. So in order to start using your mouse like it's an Elgato Stream Deck, the first thing you need to do is to download some software. The first of which is the Corsair IQ software. Obviously go to the Corsair site and then download the one for Windows or Mac depending on what you're using. And secondly you want to come to the Elgato store and download the Stream Deck software so you can set up all the buttons actions. I'm pretty sure you don't need me to tell you how to install all of those programs but once everything is installed you kind of have to connect them together. So to make this work the first thing you need to do is to download the IQ plugin for the Elgato Stream Deck and to do that you have to go to the Elgato market marketplace which is this colorful button at the top right hand side open that go to the search and then search for iq and then download the plugin for either windows or mac whatever you're using once that's done open both programs and then inside iq you should be greeted with a notification asking you to install the stream deck sdk file and that will hopefully connect the two if it's not showing up though you want to come to the settings at the top of iq find the sdk section and then turn on iq sdk right here with this button and make sure allow exclusive control for iq actions is also turned on as you can see i've already done it so i've got stream deck.exe in the approved section and that means that both programs should be linked now that all of that is installed and set up you can actually customize your mouse so you can use iq to set up things like hotkeys rgb the dpi of your mouse 
and then obviously in Stream Deck, you can do pretty much anything. So to add an action button to the mouse, you want to first come to the Stream Deck software and then find the devices lift at the top and then open the Corsair Scimitar Elite Wireless page. In here, I've obviously already added a couple of buttons myself. So I've got one to mute my microphone. I've got another one to turn on and off my lights and a third one to zoom in my camera. However, for example, if you wanted to add a sound effect to one of the buttons, you can come to the soundboard here at the right hand side, open this menu and then choose play audio and then just drag that to the button that you want it to go on. So I'm going to choose this top right hand one. And then all you have to do is to choose which file you want to play. I'm going to choose this classic like air horn sound. And then all that's left to do is to choose how you want it to play. So whether you want it to play once or loop or what volume you want it to play at and also choose which out put the audio comes out of. And if you've set it up all correctly, the next time I'm streaming or gaming and just want to play that sound, I can just press this button and it should play it to wherever I've linked it to. Obviously, this is a great way to customize your content or add a little bit of personality and fun to your streams. However, I imagine some of you are thinking, well, you've got 12 buttons, surely you need some of that for the game. Well, yes, you can set up a profile on this mouse to be game only, and then have another button to switch to like all your stream effects. So as an example, you can set up this first profile just for gaming and have loads of hotkeys for things like attacks, combos, healing, whatever, but leave one button to switch profile. So if you go up to the top here and then search for profile, and then find switch profile and then drag that to the button. From here, you can then choose the next profile you want to switch to. So you can either just leave it as next profile if you've only got one or two to switch between or pick a specific one. So for me, I'm going to pick stream actions. And then when I press the button on the mouse, it should switch over to the stream actions page. And then you have to do the same again. So you want to put switch profile on the same button, preferably, and then obviously change that back to gaming. So when you press that button now, it should keep switching between the gaming hotkeys as well as switching back to your stream actions. I understand that that might seem a little complex or a little awkward if you've never used Stream Deck software before, but I guarantee you if you get this mouse and then start playing around with the software, you'll get the hang of it straight away. Plus, because you've got this mouse, it now opens access to Elgato's brand new virtual Stream Deck software. So not only can you add physical buttons on the side of your mouse, you can also add virtual buttons to your desktop. These desktop buttons are virtually limitless. So you can have a whole bunch of creativity and fun and effects and just do anything you want to do with your content any way you want. In general, this is a pretty awesome mouse, especially someone who's first getting into like streaming or content creation, because normally you'd obviously have to buy a mouse for your PC and buy a Stream Deck, and then that adds up to a lot of money. So instead, you could just buy one of these and save yourself some cash. Speaking of which, being an Elgato partner and a Corsair ambassador, I have this code here, which can actually get you a discount on this mouse, as well as anything else on each store, really. Obviously, let me know if you're interested in this mouse or might be picking one of these up, and also let me know if you want to hear more about stream decks and the possibilities of one and in the meantime check out these videos here which i made about content creation live streaming filmmaking that type of stuff and i will see you all in the next one